Update 4.89 was a matter of when it was installed in your system because you would have immediately, immediately lost the ability to sign in automatically, which is something we all took for granted. Um, that stored information consisted of two things. You know, that was your password for um, PlayStation.com, and it was also your username or your email address. Well, you know, now it wanted your, you know, your, well, your, your email address, your registered email address, but also um, the one-time device setup passcode. Okay, so here I'm going to PlayStation.com to sign in. And I know my information and I have the two-step verification on, which is important. Uh, let, me, let me sign in and do that and I'll get right back to you. So basically you click this and you scroll down to uh, account settings. Um, so this is necessary to get the code, it just is. Um, so you go over here to uh, where it says security and you click that, you know, and you confirm it. And uh, I guess this can be done on any device. Um, so really you come across a whole bunch of things here. Uh, you can change your password here. You can do a lot of things. Um, Two-step verification here. Um, you need it to be active. If, you, if it's not active, you can click edit here and make it, you know, make it so it's active. Uh, device setup password, you know, generator managed device setup password. So basically you click on this and here it says generate new password. You click that. This is a good example of what you'll find here. Um, an alphanumeric uh, uppercase lowercase code okay just kind of leaving it up on the screen it's one of the easiest ways to do it and you go over to your your ps3 and you open up it, it will be where you where you see right now where you see account management um, but you'll see a blue sign in thing it actually says sign in Uh, like like I threw up on the screen. Um, even right here is a small, you know, a little pictogram to show you how to do the same thing I just explained. Um, so if you copy it in just right, you do that, you know, exactly as it should be in the sign-in screen for your password. Uh, that's what you'll click uh, on the on the top line. If you don't see your registered username or well, playstation.com uh, you can type it in and below that you want to type in this long monster here because that's not your password it's a device setup password if you enter it and it works just click done that the way the system knows it's yours and when you're done you can click sign out be ready to, uh, you know, check the sign-in screen thing. You, you know, your email address will be there. Your, your one-time device setup passcode, which only needs to be done once. Check the box that's underneath it, and it'll highlight two items. And um, at that point, you should uh, basically just be hitting X to confirm, and um, immediately you should see signed in or signing in up here and uh, the sign-in screen will turn to account management and uh, your gamer tag will come back up and you'll be able to visit the PlayStation Store, uh, download from the store, uh, all the things that basically Sony didn't make clear after March of 2022. So there you have it. I had made a previous video. Um, if there's any questions after this video on how to uh, get the PS3 back online or how to uh, you know, deal with uh, PlayStation.com or how to deal with lost passwords or anything like that, I'm going to leave a link in the back of uh, this video um, the, in the end cards. I'm going to leave a, uh, 
a link to that video because uh, it may be it may be more helpful if this is not everything that you need. If you lost your password, there is a reset link there somewhere. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail because this is meant to be a quicker video. So I'll catch you in my next video, okay? All right. Okay. Bye-bye.